sumadyang bumilis ang pagkalat ng COVID-19. All the city has recorded more than 6,000 COVID-19 cases and over 260 deaths. Requirement sa ilalim ng distance learning ngayong pandemia. Nakatutok si June Veneracion. Base sa original na natag ng school calendar para sa taong 2020-2021, sa June 11, magtatapos ang klase ng mga estudyante ng elementary ng high school. Pero makang mamapayang T-minus one minute. T-minus 50 seconds. T-minus 40 seconds. T-minus 30 seconds. T-minus 20 seconds. Sang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiliw, pero sa sinahanan, alam ng puso sa titik mo ibuhay. Upang hinihang, tuyat na ng magiting, sa manlulupin, di ka pasisigil, sa nagatang tutok sa simoy at sa langit mong pangraw.
here where you can find very talented, creative, and hardworking students who can make pictures colorful and detailed. They will bring light to photography using their ways and creativity. Not only photography, but also video, audio, digital arts, and interactive media. This is Media Arts. As a student, we would always have to study and learn to pass our grades, or maybe not participate in our lessons and studies. We should change that right now, but not later. This is school. Our parents would be supporting us in school so that we can learn from our teachers. We can't expect to have a very nice future that we have imagined. That is not how it works. Now that pandemic has started, some things started to corrupt one by one. Life is getting harder due to the virus, and it is a must to study hard so that one of us can stop this once and for all. We can help our world rise once again. This time of year is a time for finding joy in the planning and celebrating of various festivals and celebrations that bring families, friends, and even tourists. We are unable to celebrate those festivals that supposedly celebrated every year. All exciting festivals that I would look forward to can no longer be experienced these past years as public gatherings could only worsen the spread of the virus. Our very own Higala'ai festival which is celebrated every August 28 can no longer be witnessed publicly. Way back before, our family joined the celebration and watching the float parades and other activities. However, with the tedious impact of COVID-19, many festival organizers have taken things online or virtual to ensure that they continue to sustain the spirit of festivals. During this pandemic, we're able to read the facts and history of the festivals, how it started and how this festival were made and we were cel and were celebrated. And that's all. Thank you. That's all and thank you for watching. God bless. Hi everyone, I'm Shikina Ponce Ranoco from SPA Grade 7 Hernandez and one of the students of Major Art Grade 7. Sinulog Festival The Sinulog Festival 
place of origin is Cebu Province. Santo Nino is the patron saint celebrated in the Sinulog Festival. How can affect it? In this pandemic, many change and because of pandemic, the Sinulog Festival didn't happen. Just like it thought. But many people not only in Cebu, but in whole Philippines, no one can stop us to celebrate the Sinulog Festival. We have technology right now. We can do streaming or doing live to show our love. It's okay if we didn't do one of them. The important was you pray and trust and love the Santo Nino. Panagbinga Festival is a month-long annual tradition in Baguio. The term is of Kankanaye, origin, meaning season of blooming. Effect. Let's be honest, even we look at flowers blooming, it feels heaven that's for me because I know some of us didn't have any interest of flowers or plants, but some of us was really love flowers. And I think I'm one of them now. Mascara Festival. His annual festival will have at Hill every fourth Sunday of October in Bacolod, Philippines. Effect. For me, I realized that in one whole day or week, we can hold back our smell because we can. We all know that because of pandemic, many people feel sad and experience depression and too much stress. We can fake. We can fake that because. Of pandemic, many many people lost their jobs, and for me, Scar Festival showing me that the we can smell in one whole day. Kai Festival is a patronal festival held each year in Cagayan de Oro Festival every 28th day of August, celebrating the feast day Saint Augustine, patron saint of the city. In fact, as one of people living in Cagayan de Oro, I thought that I can see parade again, but suddenly. I didn't happen. Cause of pandemic. At first, I really think that it's possible that will happen. But even true, it didn't happen. We can still celebrate it, and even on social media. I know it's more so special if we can experience the normal celebration, but we can make it special even true online. of any festival I didn't care at all but since this is the topic or not only the topic I realized that being known the different of all festivals is very important so keep fighting because we all know we can fight this pandemic we're Filipinos many problems we already caused so let's fight this together To us has different experiences and ways to cope during this pandemic, but for me, I've experienced a lot, like dealing with online classes and modules since we can't go to school. It has been a roller coaster ride for us. It is also hard to adjust, but us students need to do our best in our education. And I am thankful for the teachers for doing their best for us to continue learning on our own. I also got my back brace from my scoliosis last year. Some of you may say it looks weird but it is for the better of my body. The way I cope during this pandemic is to think positive, listen to songs, and my most favorite is to watch sunsets and taking a picture of it. Seeing beautiful sunsets makes me happy. It also reminds me of someone. Ways on how to cope during this pandemic as a student is to know that it is okay to feel sad, anxious, and angry. Some of our mental health is ruined during this pandemic, but to improve your mental health is to connect with other people. Run to someone you are comfortable with, and talk about how you feel, and take care of your physical health. Hi. My name is Jetro B. Lanyas, grade 8 SPA Guerrero. This is my second output of the week. It really hurts to be locked up like this. This is my photo story experience in pandemic. Last March, I was really excited because we practiced our graduation and I will be soon graduate student in grade school. I have been prepared for our graduation day. I have memorized our graduation song. 
However, COVID-19 came. The graduation day has been cancelled and the school year ended early. I was not uh, really afraid of getting, of getting infected with COVID as long as there is social distancing and I don't go out. In the way long of the pandemic, that last two years, my life was so boring and all I just played while played online games to fight my boredom. In the new normal education, I just answering modules and attending online class. I wish that we can go back to school and have a face-to-face class. I hate this. I'm very much stressed during this pandemic lockdown. Child stress can lead to anxiety and other more serious conditions. I call on the attention of elders, parents, and teachers to also check on the emotional condition of kids. They may also be going through an easy condition just just like yours during this pandemic.